Today, we're talking about two OTC Petty Stock Rockets, ILUS International, ticker symbol ILUS, and Cyberlux Corporation, ticker symbol CYBL. In this video, I'll give you a preliminary comparison of these two stocks, including a stock chart review. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll share my opinion regarding which of these two stocks could make you more money in the long run. I'll give each stock a score from one to 10 for each category and we'll total the scores at the video's end to reveal a winner. Here, the lower the score, the scarier the stock is for a long-term or swing trader. But remember that OTC stocks can be very risky. So I only invest money in OTCs that I can afford to lose. High risk equals high potential reward. And remember, this is not financial advice and for entertainment only. Hi, investing friends. This is Lynn and welcome back. So let's go and review today's hot stock. Just to give you a quick overview on the business focus of these two stocks, Sybil already had a solid LED lighting business and it has been a long-term player in the defense area. Now with the acquisition of CTMC Drone Solutions and FlightEye Drone Solutions, Cyberlex is positioned to take off in the drone services area and leverage their defense connections to close more DOD deals. CYBL has made one acquisition in 2021 with one more plan to hit soon. This drone business acquisition will enable Sybil to leverage the 10 years of government relationships, especially with the DOD, gained through their listing on the GSA contract. Listing on GSA is difficult to obtain and retain, and Sybil has done a great job in this area. ILUS focuses primarily on innovative emergency services, life safety, and related technologies from emergency response vehicles electric utility vehicles to disruptive firefighting equipment and related software solutions. ILUS has already made three acquisitions of other businesses in 2021 with two more signed letters of intent for more purchases. ILUS E-Raptor Utility Vehicles is a division that provides environmentally friendly utility vehicles, including the world's first electric six-wheel utility vehicle. The Firebug division includes UK firefighting equipment manufacturers using high-tech disruptive water mist technology, offering increased safety with reduced water consumption. ILUS Vehicle Converters, or TVC division, fabricates and converts specialized vehicles. ILUS BCD Fire Division is a leading systems integrator and installer of fire, access, and security systems across the United Arab Emirates or UAE. When it comes to acquisitions, we'll give Sybil a grade of six and ILUS a grade of 10. Yes, ILUS is up over 28,000% and Sybil over 23,000% year to date. And they're both up over 200% over the past month. We are giving ILUS a nine and Sybil an eight in this category. We all know that short sellers pressures can have a big effect on stock pullbacks. This OTC short report shows Sybil being shorted between 36% and 49% in the recent past and ILUS between 35% and 29%. Both are highly shorted stocks, but let's give Sybil a grade of seven and ILUS a grade of eight for level shorted. Next, we'll look at stock charts. If you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more videos like this one. Also, see the link in the description below to sign up for our newsletter so that you can be notified before these videos come out. The steadier the growth of a stock, the less likely we'll be knocked out of it or lose all our money. Here you can see the first pullback over the past year in ILUS. ILUS had a high in February 2021 and then a pullback to a low of 0.06 on March 5th. Here you would have lost 316% of your gain in this pullback. ILUS then mostly recovered to a high of 0.179 on March 16th and began a long pullback to a low of 0.0399 on August 11th. Here you would have lost 448% of your former gain during this pullback. If you were still in the stock, the big run-up began on 8.12 from 0.0443 to a high of 48 cents on September 28th, which would have meant a 993% gain. This is before the most recent pullback in early 
October. Sybil's one-year chart shows little movement in the first half of the year, but a long slide down from a high of 0 0.006 on February 17th to a low of 0 0.0009 on May 20th and a loss of 666% on the previous gain. If you were still in the stock, the chart reversed to a run-up from 0 0.01 on August 31st to a high of 0 0.065 on September 24th, or a gain of 650%. Again, this was before the early October pullback. Here, IELUS is the winner with a lower percentage of pullback loss to a greater gain versus Sybil. IELUS would have been the bigger profit winner. We'll give ILUS a grade of 8 versus Sybil's grade of 5. We all know movement in OTC stocks is often driven by news. Here you can see ILUS released five news updates over the past month, but here Sybil released only one. This gains ILUS a grade of 6 and Sybil a grade of 1 for news releases within a 30-day period. Hedge funds can have a big effect on an OTC stock and they have the capacity for a deeper level of analysis and insight than individual traders do. We like to see more hedge funds owning a stock with a good amount of shares indicating a belief in the stock's future direction. IALUS had two hedge fund holders in Q2 with 162,000 shares owned. Sybil had one hedge fund holder with 300,000 shares owned. Both stocks win an equal grade of five in this category. When it comes to institutional investors, it's better to own an OTC stock before the institutional investors discover it and send the price up. But if the stock already has institutional investors, you don't want to see selling of their shares taking place. Sybil has one institutional investor who added 300,000 shares. This investor also acted as the hedge fund. ILUS had two institutional investors with a Q2 edition of 42,800 shares, a sale of 871,875 shares, and one closed position with a sale of 2,500 shares. Sybil wins here with a grade of 9 versus ILUS grade of 4. Let's look at the stock security details comparison. We like to see a small market cap leaving for more growth, preferably under 100 million, and outstanding shares under 2 billion leaving room to uplist out of the OTC world without a reverse stock split. ILUS market cap is 418 million with shares outstanding of 1.2 billion and a share float of 3.4 billion. Sybil's market cap is 259 million with a 5.5 billion shares outstanding and a float of 3.7 billion. Here, Sybil's 5.5 billion shares outstanding is going to make it tough to uplist without reverse stock split and impact on your shares. Despite the smaller Sybil market cap, here ILUS wins with a score of 6 versus Sybil score of 3. Now that we've done an ILUS to Sybil comparison, let's tally up the results. When it comes to acquisitions, we'll give Sybil a grade of 6 with ILUS grade of 10. ILUS is clearly hard to beat in this area with their multiple acquisitions completed and still planned for this year. Percentage shorted. I gave Sybil a grade of 7 and ILUS a grade of 8 for percentage of the stock shorted over a 7-day period. Either way, short sellers are consistently pounding these stocks. For the one-year stock chart pullback percentages to gain and the potential to more safely make you more money, we awarded Sybil with a grade of 5 and IELUS with a grade of 8. Hedge fund interest in these OTC stocks are a big deal, especially considering the ability to move the needle on the stock price. Here we gave Sybil a grade of 5 and IELUS the same grade of 5. We want to beat the institutional investors into these OTC stocks the best we can and IELUS with a 4. In our final category and the all-important security details comparison, we gave Sybil a 3 and ILUS a 6. Now, which stock is the winner in this best OTC stock shootout? The winner is ILUS with a score of 49 to Sybil's score of 40. Honestly, ILUS winning this battle totally surprised me as I expected Sybil to be the clear winner pretty much across the majority of categories. What do you think? I always love hearing from you, so please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about Sybil versus ILUS and about any other stocks that you are liking right now. Also, go here to review the deep dive videos in our Sybil, ILUS, and Fern playlist. 
including our Sybil versus Fern shootout video.